Welcome to Remember That Player, where every week we take a trip down memory lane to remember some of the best and most fun athletes of yesterday. And with this being the first episode, I wanted to start with one of my personal favorite players. He was my favorite player as a kid growing up, Alfonso Soriano. Soriano hit 412 home runs in his career with a 270 average. He has over 1,100 runs and RBI and 289 stolen bases. He was a seven-time All-Star, including winning the All-Star Game MVP. He was a four-time Silver Slugger and twice finished top 10 in the MVP race, finishing as high as third in 2002. He is best remembered for his 40-40 season in 2006, his lone season with the Washington Nationals, but he missed a second 40-40 season in 2002 by just one home run with the Yankees. He is one of four players to be in the 40-40 club, joining Barry Bonds, Jose Canseco, and Alex Rodriguez. Not a bad list to be on. And with stolen bases being down in baseball lately, he might be the last player to do so for a long time. In his career, he played with the Yankees, the Rangers, the Nationals, Cubs, and then finished again with the Yankees. He played seven seasons each with the Cubs and Yankees, but he just edged out his numbers with the Cubs to have the most career stats with the Chicago Cubs. Some fun facts about Alfonso Soriano. Despite being born and raised in the Dominican Republic, he started his career briefly in Japan before signing with the New York Yankees. He still holds the record for most leadoff home runs in a season with 13 in 2003. I spoke about how he was a 40-40 club member, but he went 30-30 four times. Only the father-son duo of Barry and Bobby Bonds did so more in their careers. and. He was infamously traded for Alex Rodriguez in a trade that sent A-Rod down out to the Bronx. He was one of, Soriano was just one of the most fun players of the 2000s. And I, like I said, he was a personal favorite of mine, so I wanted to kick it off with him. But join us each week as we take a trip down memory lane, checking out baseball, basketball, and football players of yesterday. And we're just going to have fun trips down memory lane. What's better than that? Stay tuned for more on Remember This Player.